away from some rain. I'll keep you updated as the conditions change. Feel your way around the conditions before you start pushing the car. Fantastic. You've got pole. For tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Moore, Bottas and Carlos Sainz. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Welcome to the beautiful Styrian Mountains for another chapter in the story of the Austrian Grand Prix. The Spielberg circuit then is situated 700 metres above sea level, with just 10 corners making up one of the shortest laps of the season. One time around here is a distance of 2.6 miles, with the best overtaking chances into Turn 1 or the tight uphill Turn 3. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Moore lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Stroll, Leclerc, Norris, and Nobuharu Matsushita, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Russell, Vettel, Joe, Yuki Tsunoda and Nicholas Latifi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. Virtual safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been
fine. The safety car is coming in this lap. We'll be pacing the field in sector three. Make sure to respect the delta until the safety car is in the pit lane. flag we're racing again we've been informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of loose debris on the track the safety car is being deployed
for the marshals. Smiling faces on the pit wall after a superb win here in Spielberg, and rightly so, a brilliant effort from the whole team. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. And it's time now for the podium celebrations and how well deserved is this one? This is a team all about giving talented young drivers an opportunity to race and to win. Alpha Tori are your winners here today. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalise on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. It looked like your car wasn't 100%. Would you like to comment on that? You got really unlucky out there today. Who's to blame for that failure? Great, well that's everything.